Hi you guys, welcome back to the channel. It's me, Alana, and we're gonna be watching another episode of Boone Docs. The last episode we watched was hilarious. We had granddad smoking that ganja, and he loved it, and he was willing to let go of his freedom to get him some more, okay? But anyways, he's on house arrest now, which is hilarious. I would never would have thought that we'll see granddad in an ankle bracelet. But here we are. <laughs> but yeah, I'm not gonna hold you guys. Let's just go ahead and jump into the next episode. Let's go. It's a scene no I love chicken. Costume, all for the love of chicken. KFC? Is that the Colonel? Ooh. Whoa! What is he trying to do? One more herb. One more spice. The oh my gosh. New original recipe. Now with 13. KFC. What the? How rude. Hey, what did I tell you, huh? I said you can do what you want with your little survival team, but don't mess with my TV. <laughs> new disaster. Bird flu, swine flu, mm. new world order. What was it? The Trisexual Commission? What the what? Trisexual anyway. Trilateral. Where's the disaster? Where's the return on investment? All this damn money for extra food and toilet paper. That's it. It's over. Oh. Damn on the end of the world. You're on your own now, Jack. Boy, you ready to go is that a generator? Yeah. You want some fried chicken, little baby? Fried chicken is murder. <laughs> what? <laughs> Look at Riley's face. <laughs> I take it she's a vegetarian. What's that for anyway? It's a generator. What does it do? Nothing right now, but if I can get it to work, it could save our lives. But I got it all worked out so the three of us can survive in this house as long as possible. Without you, Jasmine. And Granddad. What about everyone else? I can't save everyone else. If I tried, I'd just end up saving nobody. Ooh. Would you let me stay here? You know, if, if things got bad. The plan is for three people. A fourth person, and we could run out of food or water. That means a no-go. The plan for four people? I guess. Aww. I'm much better about that now. She said bump her mama her daddy. Says you're a loony person, but I think one day, you're gonna be smarter than everybody. I can't wait. <laughs> Mm, I'm gonna get some chicken. I <laughs> I'm gonna get some chicken. We only had 11 herbs and spices. This is a whole new. Oh. Oh, oh man. Traffic jam. Just to get into the parking lot. Hours? What's the added special? They're gonna be out of chicken. What? I can't believe what you're telling me. <laughs> there ain't nothing left. No goddamn way. Hell no. What is it? Fortunately, we are out of chicken at the moment. Please go away until we have more chicken. Thank Please go away. Oh man, this is some old bullshit. No chicken? You mean I ain't gonna be able to get that bucket? How can there be no nope. chicken? It's Colonel's fried chicken. This is outrageous. You see how many customers they had? One, one. No, I ain't calling a snitch. I got a real emergency. My emergency? These fools done ran out of chicken. You snitching. Fried chicken. Unfortunately. Oh. Them folks ain't got nothing to do with this. No. <laughs> Granddad, get out of there. Ain't nobody ever gonna get no chicken. Ain't no chicken. Civil unrest explodes in several. They don't do all that for no chicken. There have been reports of fires, looting, and violence in the streets, all over a fast food promotion gone terribly wrong. But early on in the day, there were signs. They didn't have enough. Stretching for miles, scuffles between tired and hungry customers. What? You knew y'all was gonna do this for a year. How that supposed to be my family now? I want my. Go cook something at home. Chicken. I can't believe after all that no chicken. I always miss out on the hot new thing. And now another <laughs> crisis brewing that seems to have appeared out of thin air. A mysterious virus. Fire. Already there are 400 confirmed. Is it because of the chicken? Virus in all 50 states. And the CDC warns it could spread to <gasps> hundreds of thousands by the end of the week. And for good reason. Where this virus came from is anybody's guess. Probably for the damn chicken. Have you Tom? eaten the chicken? Huh? Huey, it's Tom and Jasmine. Have you eaten the chicken? <laughs> no. What? 
Huey, did you hear about the mystery virus? Oh, he walked Jason over. I promise you, the world is not going to end. Please, Daddy, it's not safe. Honey, I have to pick up your mother. Stay as long as you want. Have fun. Call me when you want to come home. No! You made a choice. You in or out? <laughs> you in or out? <laughs> you better get in, girl! Nobody anywhere saw it coming. Oh. It's being called Huey did for a second day of riots around the country is also responsible for a pandemic that experts are saying could reach biblical proportions. Not biblical. Fuck up shit like I gotta get out of here. Get out of my fucking way. Whoa. <laughs> Interesting. My God. Oh. <laughs> you never get to try that chicken. Make your own damn chicken. A chicken at a press conference in a show of support. Seven hours later. He was in a coma. What the what? People are still eating chicken. Pack Even though it's sick. Restaurants that still have the golden bird in stock. They're sick. Life and limb for a leg and a thigh. Hell no. No, she's right. We're all going to die. <laughs> <laughs> not her and granddad. We are not going to die. This is the day I've been planning for my whole life. It contains guidelines for security, food and water rationing, energy usage, communications. A I told you so. Nigga, what is this? Homework? Everything you need to know is in your package. I don't like to read instructions. Yeah, and I don't like to read, period. Just give us a gist. No, you need to read all of it. It's all important. Okay, but what's the Jazz is gonna be the only one who's gonna read it. I guess the most important thing is that we keep quiet about our emergency <laughs> supplies. And right, agree. What about mommy and daddy? Bump them. They're gone. You is right. They on their own. They gonna die. <laughs> <laughs> She gonna be crying like this all the time. Cause I say if she is, we kick her out. Shush, <laughs> President Obama's talking. You'll be happy to know that Michelle, Sasha, Malia, myself, and Bo are all fine. And Bo. Care about you, man. Tell us everything gonna be okay for us. Everything is going to be okay. But I'm here tonight to talk about you. In times of crisis, Americans pull together. She's so whining. Get us through this difficult time. Sharing. Sharing. Lending a helping hand to a neighbor. Do you share what's in your bunker? Fuck a neighbor. What we need is <laughs> There is no cure for the pandemic we now face. But we do have an even more powerful weapon. Unity. Compassion for our fellow man. No! Fuck compassion for our <laughs> That's how a lot of people feel if something like this would happen. And when I say we, I mean you. And God bless you. And may God bless the United States of America. We all go to die. <laughs> <laughs> you gonna kick my phone out, Riley? Hey, good morning, Huey. You want some breakfast? <gasps> Who the hell? Ned, what's going on? Well, just a little breakfast. Oh, by the way, this is Tina. She's gonna be staying here until the crisis blows over. Plan was for four people. Well, your plan sucked. Shoot, you think the world's gonna end? I'm gonna be trapped up in here looking at y'all sweaty neck Negroes? You crazy. He said he needs some. We don't open the front door until we know the identity of the person outside and can confirm they don't have... Magnificent. Uh, Riley told me I had a fly little emergency set up over here, and to be honest, that nigga was kind of wondering if he could hold it down for a little while. Granddad, can he stay with us too? No. This fried chicken flu is kind of scaring a nigga, man. Motherfuckers wilding out and shit. I mean, look. Both of y'all get friends, and I can't have a friend. Get somebody your age. And I don't want you to think I came here empty-handed either, nigga. Ain't nothing thug never said about being a freeloader. You what you bring? Yo, anybody hungry? Bacon doubles, double bacons with a little bit of meat on it, fries, frosty. A little bit of meat on it. Granddad, this is not in the plan. Well, according to the Huey, you should to eat it Cheerios and green beans. So once again, your plan sucked. Where my room at, nigga? Now again, we don't want anyone to panic, but let's look at some of the projected. Huey gonna have to have his own little bunker. Let's start with New York. Projected million and a half dead. What projected? If you're really enjoying this reaction and want to see the full uncut version, please join me over on Patreon. There you'll have access to all the shows you see here on YouTube and the Patreon exclusives. And don't forget before you leave to comment, like, and subscribe. Dead. Florida, a million and a half projected to push up daisies. And now push up daisies may have jumped franchises. And maybe infecting chickens from Bluto's, even Chick Lafay. Damn, Chick Lafay. That must be some good ass chicken. The real tragedy is that we may never ever get to eat fried chicken again. Hey, hey Daddy. What do you want? This is a restricted area. <laughs> he even got the computer voice. Checking on Jasmine, and um, wondering if it was too late to. It's 
Huey home. Can we just talk to Huey or Robert? I can't. That's not fair. You let everyone else in. <laughs> <laughs> Neo, Neo. Oh. No way. That's for us. Guys, it's us, Tom and Sarah. We are your neighbors and dear friends. We've had so many hilarious adventures together. <laughs> Come on. You're really gonna leave us out here tonight? <laughs> Step closer to the camera. But they're not allowed to eat anything. Works for me. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, Tina gotta go. Mm -hmm. I like when a little burger stuck in my She over here eating green beans and Cheerios. Nine people. We don't have anywhere near enough food and water. I agree. They way too many. What the hell? Ruckus? Ruckus, what are you doing? How did he get in? I was in the attic replacing some of that insulation like you asked me to, Robert. I just woke up like five minutes ago. You've been here this whole time? Yeah, but don't you worry. Oh, Uncle Rocket is. No! Get the hell out of here! Don't never sit the boys and granddad trying to get his ass out of there. They knew him out. You have a gas mask. <laughs> he should just stay his ass in the attic. Day decline in history because of the fried chicken flu outbreak. Authorities say fried chicken flu is responsible. Fried chicken flu. The coast of Vietnam. This how hospitals are overwhelmed. As are all basic. I place the parody from when uh, Obama had. I forget what the disease or sickness that was going around. Obama. I am personally doing everything I can to help you, and by everything, I mean sitting here and <laughs> talking to you in a calm, soothing voice. Everything is going to be just fine. Oh, no. fine. Oh, the generator. All that planning. Why did I even try? Because you're different from everyone else. <gasps> he got to work. <sighs> oh. Guys, wait. You're going to use up all the power. Shoot. I can't hear you. We have too much electronic equipment running at the same time. Oh, I'm scared of dark. Huey's got to have his own. No one's forcing you to stay here. Oh, Facts. I get it. You want me to leave and go outside and get a fried chicken flu? Is that it? <laughs> you can't complain. This is the Woodcrest Fried Chicken Flu oh. Militia. We demand to speak with you at once. Why? We understand you are hoarding emergency supplies. Hoarding? Serious offense in a time of crisis. Uncle Ruckus snitch. Life is good enough in there. They got green beans and Cheerios and drinkable water. Even a device that lets you pee in a cup and drink it right back in. Ew. But you get the idea. Ew. We demand that you let us in to inspect your house. No. The hell? No. <laughs> I know that's right. Let us in at once. Let me try. No. <laughs> <laughs> we are not leaving until you allow us in. That bitch. This <laughs> 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 show is funny. Did anyone read the plan? Of course, Jasmine. Tear gas. Homemade tear gas. That's an idea. Uh huh. Yeah, that's, that's an ideal response. I don't think that's the right one. Is that the right one? Hey, oh. They're about to tear gas these old people! Oh, dick, oh, bitch. Oh. Fall back, faggot! <laughs> now, Riley, there's no need to be homophobic. Exactly, <laughs> too! <laughs> what the? Weapons, retreat! What the what? Pass fried chicken flu? Well, it normally starts with a temperature and excessive sweat. Tom! Does that? Tremendous stomach pain. And after that, the inevitable projectile vomit. Decontamination out of there. Stay calm. Stay calm. Tom, Tom, can you hear me? Did you leave the house? No, I was so hungry. I, Leonard, it was so delicious. What'd he give him? I swear, my left hand, right hand to God. I did not feed him no chicken. Just some fries and some buffalo wings. Oh, man. Nigga. Oh. <laughs> Sorry. No, no, not chicken. Buffalo. You ain't just hear me say buffalo wings. But then the fact it was a buffalo, I was like, no, nah, I don't want to say that out loud. Y'all going to think I'm stupid. Get out of here. Pull out, man. <laughs> I didn't just catch you on top. 
competina? Well, yeah, you did, but I swear I thought it was cool, man. You thought it was cool? How is that cool? They're sharing. And she told me you wouldn't mind. I thought, you know, you was sharing with the homies. I mean, it ain't no fun unless you're on. Nigga, you know what I'm talking about. Look, I, I, I thought we was tag teaming on the ass, man, all right? <laughs> I didn't mean to kill Tom. I fed him because I wanted him to live. Oh. We're gonna die out here, man. Betty's militia is going to come back, and we can't defend this place by ourselves. I'm only gonna slow you down. Honey, no, we've never. Okay, girl. Come on, boy. We out of here. It's okay. <laughs> Just like, don't leave my daddy. Take the food. Feed me. Okay, then. It up. It up. Cheerios. Don't die in my trunk. What the hell? Robert Freeman. Is she in the middle? And a threat to public good. Prepare to be apprehended. <laughs> what the hell is this? They should have left it. They had a whole bus. This is wild. Mad Max. Not with the supplies on top of the car. Stop. Thanks. Now seems that fried chicken flu was actually just salmonella. None of those millions of people projected to die have died. In fact, it appears nobody. Oh, that's great. Are being told there are still large areas without power, meaning many people are still not aware that the crisis has ended. Uh, it looks like something coming right at us. Got <laughs> he lost control of the car. <laughs> can I get in? Can I get a two-piece and a biscuit, please? And all the fries you can give me. <laughs> That's what a gristle. It's both so good. <laughs> Yo, I'm having so much fun with Boondocks. <laughs> Okie dokie, y'all. So, first of all, we had this fried chicken flu business. It was just salmonella. I kind of figured this probably was going to be something dealing with the chicken itself. Um, but we're good now. But this whole episode was straight laughs, okay? These folks are going crazy. Huey uh, stacking up for the end of the world. But when you actually think about it, though, I'm not against having, like, a survivor kit for when, say, everything turns dark. I think it's actually smart to kind of like set up a little stash just in case. Like, like, honestly, I said to myself, when I move out of this house I'm in now, I want to move out and I want to have my own land. I want to like grow my own food. I want to have my own well. I'm that type of person. So I, if anything were to happen, I'll have all my resources. So I understand where Huey's coming from. Okay. But this was a straight up blast watching. The Magnificent, messing with Tina, Granddad getting mad. Yo, this is just hilarious. But yes, you guys, thank you so much for watching this with me. And I'll see you all in the next one. Peace out.